This is one of the most legendary organisms on planet Earth, and he is holding a giant egg. Welcome to Ancient Birding. If you don't like birding and you don't like ancient, then you're probably, you're, um, you're probably in the, uh, this probably isn't for you. But if you do want to learn about birds in ancient times, then I have something that might be right up your alley. This is the largest known amniotic egg in the entire world. And here's a chicken egg for comparison. But when you find out who laid this egg, you'll understand at least one of the reasons for why it's the largest egg in the world. And that is because the largest bird ever known is the one who lays it. And there you can see the egg, comparison to the bird. The elephant birds lived on the island of Madagascar. I say lived because they unfortunately went extinct somewhat as recently as the year 1000 of the current era. There are currently three known species of elephant bird, and the largest reached up to almost 10 feet in height. It's interesting to compare them to their closest living relative, the kiwi bird, who you could hold in your hands. Back to Sir Davy and his egg. The eggs, the largest ones at least, were able to hold up to 13 liters in volume. And while it does sort of make sense that the largest egg in the world belongs to the largest bird in the world, there are of course land-based creatures that are significantly larger than the elephant birds like sauropods or even a lot of theropods. If we look at the kiwi, we see something sort of roughly similar. Although the kiwis are a lot smaller than the elephant birds, their body to egg ratio is just like out of control. The egg can weigh up to 20% the weight of the mother kiwi. So why would elephant birds and kiwis use all of that energy and all of that calcium to make these absolutely mondo eggs? Well, one thing we do know about kiwis and was likely true for ele elephant birds is that they are precocial. And so if there's any etymology nerds out there, precocious. Precocial means that these young birds are basically able to get after it pretty soon after being born. So one idea is that if they have more time and more energy in the egg, it'll allow them to develop and become a little bit more mature than other nestling, nestling birds that you might have seen. If you liked this, consider following along or leave some really controversial comments to get people talking. Happy ancient birding.